Sawobona. In this video, we will explore methods for adjusting the appearance of a plot. Remember, it is not enough to just show correct results. You must show them in a way that people understand. Knowing how to modify plot appearance can help you with that challenge. Here we see two plots that show the exact same data. The plot on the left uses the default formatting. The plot on the right modified the appearance in a couple of ways. I hope you agree that the modified plot is better. The default format on the left uses a solid thin blue line and size 12 font. The labels are obviously difficult to read. Also, the solid line implies continuous data. In actuality, the data was measured just once a year, so expressing it as a continuous line is not the most honest. Here are the modifications made to the plot on the right. First, the axes labels have a larger font size of 20. Second, discrete data points, or ordered pairs, are shown, which matches with the actual data collected. Third, the scatter points have increased in size, are now six-pointed stars, and filled in red. How can we make these sorts of changes? Let's start with the three shorthand modifiers. For the plot on the right, the plot function used three input arguments, x vector, y vector, and a group of shorthand modifiers within single quotes. The asterisk causes each known ordered pair to appear as an asterisk. The dash dot causes the connecting line to appear as a dash dot line. And the R causes both markers and line to appear red. There are a variety of options for these shorthand modifiers. They come in three categories, color, line style, and marker type. So you can choose from any of these eight colors, these four line styles, and these 12 markers. Choose one from each category. You may include these modifiers in any order within the single quotes. For example, both of these inputs would produce the same appearance, g dash dash plus and plus g dash dash. Also, you are not required to choose a line style or a marker type. If the line style is left out, then you will create a scatter plot with no lines connecting the dots. If the marker type is left out, then you will create a line plot with no markers. One last note, for the color black, use the modifier K. The B was taken already by blue. The customization does not stop there. We can use name value pairs to adjust several other features of a plot's appearance. A few of the common ones are shown here, but for more options and details, refer to the official MathWorks documentation. Using name value pairs makes the most sense within an example. Here, I use the plot function to plot the same data we have been looking at. The three shorthand modifiers still apply, which causes a black line, hexagram markers, and a dashed line. The first name value pair increases the markers to size 22, which is why they appear so large on the plot. The next name value pair manually adjusts the face color of the markers. Here, the RGB triplet is 100% red, 0% green, and 50% blue. So, we see a color that is tilted towards the purple side of red. The final name value pair doubles the thickness of the line. These modifications may be fun, but not especially useful when only plotting one line on a figure but they become necessary when creating plots with multiple lines. We'll explore that in a later video.